But why is this important? Like, what is the actual business value of any of this? Uh, I think one of the key learnings that I've had over the last seven years in enterprise blockchain is people tend to focus on the tech, but ultimately, if the tech is going to be deployed, it really comes back to business value. Over the last six months, we've spoken with well over 50 uh, leading financial institutions, banks, uh, asset managers, and financial market infrastructure providers. And there's really three categories where solving this interoperability problem adds value to their businesses. One is in connecting pools of stranded assets. So I mentioned earlier uh, in the discussion that we had early deployments of blockchain. And while some have fallen by the wayside and haven't been funded and so on, um, some have continued. Some have continued to build. But it's interesting the way large conglomerates work is you have plenty of instances where one part of their business is deployed in production on a particular trade finance network. Another part of their business is deployed on a particular payments network, and they're not connected. And importantly, they're on two different blockchains. So they can't connect, they can't transact, which for an entity, for a single, for the same company. And so this is a lot of the feedback we received is particularly for some of those early movers, they want to connect up these pools of stranded assets via CCIP. The second one, and the, fundamentally the most important one, is maximizing liquidity. And I can't understand this enough because it comes up in literally every conversation. If you issue a digital asset, tokenized bond, tokenized real estate, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. If you issue some form of tokenized cash, central bank digital currency, stable coin, and so on, the challenge is you want to reach the widest possible audience, the widest possible set of possible investors. And if you sit on one blockchain and your expectation is that everyone is gonna to come to that particular blockchain, it's just not going to happen. And so we've heard this from banks, we've heard this from digital asset providers, we've heard this from asset managers and so on. And fundamentally, it all comes back to maximizing liquidity. You want to enable that connectivity.